Hi guys, it's Robin and welcome back to my channel. Today on the Robin's Nest, I'm going to be decorating a very special little cake. I'm going to be making this absolutely adorable little beehive cake as a sweet little treat for my very own Mama Bee on her birthday because I think that she deserves a cake as special as her. So don't forget to wish her a happy birthday in the comment section. I think it'll really make her day. Let's get into it. So I wanted this cake to be as cute and punny on the inside as it is on the outside. So I baked up three six inch chocolate cakes and colored them with a little black food coloring and three six inch vanilla cakes and colored them with a little bit of yellow. And when we stack our cake, we're gonna be alternating our colors to make it look like bee stripes. So I'm gonna start by leveling out our cakes here and then we're gonna start stacking and filling our layers. So to begin prepping our cake, we are going to start by attaching our cake to our cake board. So we're, we're going to apply a little bit of buttercream to our cake board. Then we're going to add our first cake layer, and I'm going to use chocolate. Then our next layer is going to be yellow, and then chocolate again, and then so on and so forth. And we're going to add a nice generous layer of buttercream in between each of our layers. And I used Wilton's lemon yellow and golden yellow to achieve this color. And once you finish stacking and filling your layers, you're gonna to wanna to chill your cake for about 15 to 20 minutes because we're gonna want our cake to be nice and firm while we're carving out our beehive shape. So while we're waiting for our layers to firm, I'm gonna show you how I made these absolutely adorable little bumblebees to decorate our cake and make it extra cute. So you're gonna start with a little piece of yellow fondant and you're gonna make a little sausage shape and you're gonna put a little point on one end of it. So I want to give my cake more of a cartoony beehive feel. So I'm gonna start at the top and start trimming down the edges and rounding them off. And then I'm gonna continue down and clean up the rest of this caramelization. And then when we're done, we can start our crumb coat. So for our crumb coat, we are just going to apply a nice thin layer of buttercream all over our cake to seal in all these crumbs. And then we're going to take our leftover icing and we're going to fill up a nice big piping bag and cut a big hole in the end of it. And we're going to pipe gigantic lines all the way around the cake to make it look more like a beehive. Now before we start piping on our final coat of icing, we're going to want to mark where we want our door to be. So I cut out a little black piece of fondant in the shape of a doorway and we're just going to place this on the front of our cake where we want it to go. And now we're going to take our piping bag and we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to pipe a nice even pressure all the way around the base until we reach the other side. And then we're going to continue doing that with each layer until we reach the top.
Okay, we're almost finished. So to complete the look, we are going to do a little border around the outside of the door. And then we can add all our cute little fuzzy bumbly bees. Well, here it is guys, a cake fit for a queen, and I love it. I think it turned out absolutely adorable. I'm so happy with it, and I really hope you guys all like it too. If you do, don't forget to smash that like button and leave some birthday love in the comment section too. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys.